Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you had any advice for would-be robot builders, because we have geeks in our audience, what would you give them, uh, you know, just starting out, whether they wanted to do something in the film industry or just building robotics in general? If you're still there. Still with me, Tony? Tony, oh, Skype may have disconnected. Give me a minute. Electric sheep screensaver. Oh, there we go. He's back. Kind of. Tony? Sorry, are you still there? Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Sorry, it, it, you were you kind of gave out for a minute or so. Uh, I don't know if you heard heard my question about you know what advice you would give to kids these days, uh, you know, or wanting to start a career something related to robotics. Yeah, you were asking me about what my advice would be to robot builders. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I was saying that if you, it depends which you are. If you're a hobbyist working uh, on robotics or working at a university. If you're working at a university, I was saying specialize. That's the, the key to robotics always. If it's a hobby, try to put your soul into it because there's still great ground to be made by hobbyists. Um, nearly all the competitions which have been running on robotics, especially the ones that go over the desert by themselves on manned vehicles. Um, last year's prize, I think, was two million. Um, wow. Really, they take that kind of software that you can build and equipment and they, the government uses it. So they would never be doing a competition of that nature. That's the fact that people running know the competition in the States are the same people that came up with the internet. Same think tank. Hmm. So Darker. that's the kind of level you're talking about. Um, and they would never be giving it to universities and anybody actually can apply for it unless they realize that we're on a new frontier when it comes to robotics. You know, it hasn't got to be the established corporations. Um, it hasn't got to be the big boys. It can be anybody that's got the enthusiasm and can get um, backing sponsors by the equipment, because obviously it's not cheap. But even then, there's been some fantastic breakthroughs by um, amateurs and uh, hobbyists in robotics, and it will continue to be like that. It's, it's the kind of field that gives to it. It seems that uh, with Arduino, I don't know if you've heard of Arduino before, uh, in conjunction with something like Kickstarter, if you've heard of that before, um, you know, we could be given rise to uh, really a lot more robot uh, creations you know, without much hassle, as much as it used to be.